What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing this Life Orb Dragapult team that also features Dialga and Choice Band Urshifu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what have I been telling you guys? What have I been telling you? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, join the community, and support me. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all my subscribers. Seriously, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. But like I said, we're rocking out today with a Life Orb Dragon Pole team, and not just any Dragon Pole, a special attacking Dragon Pole. It's going to be a lot of fun, considering we also have Whimscott on the team who has fake gear, so we can drop special defense, combo that in with our special attacking Dragon Pole, and just one tap Pokemon left and right. But let's get started with the team preview. In the top left corner, we got the one and only Regilek. Probably one of the most used Pokemon ever since it's been released in Sword and Shield. It, sh it can just be used on any team and be very, very strong. It can hit hard, and it can also control speed throughout the battle. This thing has Transistor as its ability, Magnet as its item, and then a fairly normal moveset of Rising Voltage, Volt Switch, E-Web, and Protect. Right next to him is going to be Indeedee, our first of two support mods for this team. This thing has Psychic Surge for Surge Control for its ability. It's got Citrus Berry as its item, so, you know, we'll get a little bit of HP when we fall below half. Helping Hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. Follow Me to protect ally Pokemon. Expanding Force for our hitting move and protect for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Dialga, our one and only restricted mod for the squad. I love Dialga. I think Dialga is a lot of fun to use. It's definitely not the best restricted mod, but it's pretty good in certain situations. This thing has pressure as its ability, safety goggles as its item, we gave this thing blizzard, we got trick room, flash cannon, and roar time for both our stab moves. Middle right is going to be our last support mount for this team, this is going to be that prankster Wimscott. Gave this thing the focus ash because you know, that's like the best item for Wimscott, cannot get one tap, it's got trick room, it's got fake tears, it's got tailman, it's got moon blast, it can speed control, it can drop special defense, and more importantly, it can hit pokemon with moon blast, and potentially get a special attack drop, you know, if we're lucky with that moon blast. Bottom left corner, well, both our bottom Pokemon are going to be our heavy hitter for the teams. We'll start off with Dragapult in that bottom left corner. Like I've been saying, Life Orb on this thing. It's special attacking. It's got the clear body as its ability. Probably the best ability for Dragapult. Its stats cannot be changed. Its stats cannot be changed. It's wonderful. It is just wonderful. Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, both for our stab moves. We also got Fire Blast and Fly for our coverage moves. And we have Weather Control and Speed Boost when those moves are Dynamax. And chances are, we're going to be Dynamaxing this Pokemon a lot. It hits too hard. It is too fast. It is just a perfect Pokemon for the Dynamax format. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be another heavy hitter. That's going to be Choice Band Urshfu. This thing hits like an absolute truck, especially with that Choice Band. Gives it that boost, but we're choosing into one move. We got Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protects. We got Close Combat for big stab damage. Aqua Jet for first turn priority. You turn to pivot out. And finally, our last move, which is going to be Surgeon Strikes, which is a free critical hit every single time. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb special attacking Dragapult team. Hopping into our first battle, and our opponent's got a really cool team. He's got Gengar, Wigglytuff, Malwag, Zygarde, Azumarill, and Wobbuffet. A bunch of off-meta Pokemon, so yo, I give this guy props. I give this guy props. But who should we play? How should we go into this one? I'm thinking just leading, you know, Dragapult right off the rip alongside Wimscott. We can do a lot there. We can counteract Trick Room if he's trying to send it. We can Tailwind, we can Fake Tears. We can pretty much roll out with these two Pokemon and do a lot of work. And do a lot of work. Definitely got to bring that Choice Band Urshfu in the back, because you know. Choice Band Urshfu's too good. He's too good. And then final Pokemon, I'm thinking just Diago with pressure. I'm thinking he's fine. He has a, a decent amount of coverage moves. He can hit pretty hard. I really do like him. And he can also soak up shots as well. So I'm kind of thinking that. I'm kind of thinking that. I'm trying to decide between that and Regilecki, but I really do think that the Diago's a little bit better. He would love me some Diago. I do love me some Diago. So let's put in Diago. Let's lock in these four Pokemon and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys... Let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What starter are you going to be choosing for Pokemon Legends Arceus? Are you going to be choosing Oshawott? Are you going to be choosing Cyndaquil? Or are you going to be choosing Rowlet? For me, I'm stuck between Oshawott and Cyndaquil. Rowlet's definitely off the table. Unless they come out with Hisuian forms for the starters, then we might have to reconsider. But for right now, I'm going with either Cyndaquil or Oshawott. Really on the fence about it. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up throwing Azumarill alongside with Wabafat. And I wish I would have went into my boy. I wish I would have went into my boy. Regilecki would have been a beast here. <laughs> just eat webbing all across. Would have been really nice. But, you know, I can just Dynamax here. I can just easily Dynamax and go into a Phantasm if I want to. I mean, we have speed. We do have speed. I could lower attack, but I just think Phantasm is going to be the play. And do I go here? Do I go into the Zoomerall? Because the Zoomerall kind of poses that threat, you know? Or do we just take out you? I said we just take out you. What's he going to do? Maybe Belly Drum? 
We're gonna maybe belly jump. Do we fake tears or do we moon blast? So we just moon blast onto the Zoomerel. Because this should be able to take out Wobbuffet one shot, no problem. I don't think we need to fake tier it. So I'm just gonna Dynamax my uh Dragon Pool and get rolling from there. But yo, I've been loving my new face cam angle. Definitely getting used to it. Definitely still gotta like tweak with some settings and everything, but I've been liking it. I've been liking looking up at you guys and then looking at the screen this way. Definitely a lot better than my old. Just gotta work on the lighting and everything. Like I said, just still tweaking with the settings and everything, but you know your boy will figure it out soon. You know your boy will figure it out soon. I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing this Dragon Pool. We're just gonna drop a big old Max Phantasm. We should be able to do a lot of damage here. Look at that, yo. Big old Max Phantasm. Does not take it out, but Whimsicott can pretty much clean it up next shot. Which is really, really good. We do get that uh, defense drop. Even though, you know, both of us are special attackers. <laughs> so it doesn't really do anything. And we're going to lose some of life orb damage. This thing is going to end up eating a berry. And that's going to be tough for us. Because I don't think a Moonblast can take that out anymore. It's going to be cutting it close. We are going to be cutting it close. We're just going to go straight into a lovely little Moonblast. And then we're going to see what these guys are going to do. Moonblast is going to chip away some damage. And no drop. And this thing is going to Parasol. He is going to Parasol. So all Pokemon are going to faint in three turns. And this thing's just going to go for Amnesia and Parasol. So this guy's got like a pretty cool setup here. He's amnesiaing. He's ready to go. His special defense is going to raise sharply, and the Parasong is going to drop. So I can obviously just go for a... Uh, I can obviously just go for this. Finish you off, and then I think I'm going to swap out Wimscott, just so we have it in the back end. And maybe just go into Urshifu. Or I could go into Dialga. I could go into Dialga. I think Urshifu could be really good, because, you know, we can do a lot of damage on a lot of these Pokemon. Actually, no. Actually, yes. Yeah, and then if we have to U-turn out, we can U-turn out. Oh, we can't be swapped out. Oh my god, he has Shadow Tag. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Okay, you know, we'll just Moon Blast into you again. If, if both these Pokemon go down to Parasong, I think we can win the 2v2 in the back end. He's going to withdraw, and there goes his Shadow Tag. So there's a Shadow Tag Pokemon. That's silly fine. That's silly fine. He's going to go into Zygarde here. Nice little swap. Maybe if we would went into a Dragon move, that could have been wonderful. Phantasm's going to poke here. Get some damage off on this Pokemon here. A lot of damage. Bring this thing down to red, yo. Bring this thing down to red. So we're starting to... Oh, we get a crit. That is why. Wonderful little crit. So we're starting to swap with this Parasong, which we're totally fine. I can swap, like... Now, I can swap whenever I want. Or, again, I can just let these Pokemon go down. We're doing a lot of damage on all these guys. We're starting to chip away and hit up on some big damage. This thing, Citrus Berry, is not. And he's just going to soak me, yo. How dare you soak me? How dare you soak me? Parish count falls to two. So we got another turn. I'm going to use my last Dynamax turn. And I'm going to take out the Zygarde. I am going to take out the Zygarde here. I think I just Moonblast into him. Hmm, do I Moonblast? No, you know, we are going to uh, go into our Dragon move into that thing, finish that thing off, and then, you know, swap out my Wimscott into my lovely little Choice Banners and just play it that way. So Shadow Tag's off the field. We're going to take our chances to swap here. That was a pretty, pretty tough play by him. Pretty, I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I would have left my Shadow Tag Pokemon out there, especially it's Wobbuffet. He's really not going to do too much. He's really not going to do too much, so I would have left him out on the field just so my Pokemon couldn't switch, and the Parasong would have taken him out. So he's going to end up protecting... Oh my god, you lovely little turn there. Lovely little turn there, because, you know, we targeted down the Zygarde. Zygarde's going to drop out here. It is not surviving this Life Orb special attacking shot, dude. This Dragon Pole is too good. Dragon Pole is too good. Whether it's physical, whether it's special, you give this thing the Life Orb, it's going to outspeed most, and it's going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. So... We're sitting in a pretty fine spot here. I do have to swap out my Dragon Pole here just so we can have it in the back end. And uh, he doesn't die to the Parasong. But if Azumarill doesn't swap here, we're sitting in a great spot. So I'm not going to target down Azumarill. I'm going to target down whatever spot is going to come out on this left slot. And it's going to be Wobbuffet. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord it's not going to be Wobbuffet. <laughs> we're sitting in such a good spot. We are sitting in a, a phenomenal spot here. But at this point, I'm just going to swap you and I'm going to go into Wimscott here. Because we do have the Focus Ash on that. And I'm just going to go into a Surgeon Strikes. Azumarill will die to the Parasong if it doesn't swap. He just can't smell. You know, we take those all day. One and no. Let's hop into a second and show off this team a little bit more. Honestly, I have no idea what our last opponent was trying to do. He set up the Parasong and I was like, yo, this is a pretty cool combo. And then he just didn't do anything after that. I expect those things down in Great Ball tier or Ultra tier. But yo, this is Master tier. This is Master, so that definitely threw, threw me off. But we're going to try to have a better battle here in battle number two. This guy's a pretty cool team. Got Kyogre, obviously, you know. Kyogre's... He's the best. He's the best. So we're not going to go a video without seeing a Kyogre. He also has Salamence. He has Zapdos. He has Amoongus, Urshfu, and Scissor. So pretty cool team with some decently cool meta Pokemon. We have uh, a Regilecki, who I think is a must. I think he might actually end up leading the Amoongus. But I'm going to lead the Regilecki because, you know, speed control is a huge factor. And he has Kyogre. So I definitely want that. I might actually go into you. I think leading you and 
Life Orb Dragapult. Dragapult can be really, really good because we can change up weather. We can have a super effective shot onto the Moongus. It just works out really, really well up against a lot of these Pokemon. Next Pokemon, I think Urshifu is a must, especially if he's sending rain. We can do a big amount of damage with Charging Strikes. And then finally, last Pokemon. Did we go with Dialga here? We could go Dialga. Dialga isn't too bad. But I kind of might want to go Wimscott. I might go Whimsy. You know, we're going to go with Dialga. We, we got to bring a Restricted Mon, right? We got to bring a Restricted Mon, yeah. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two and go back to back. But yo, shout out to all the viewers who noticed my boy Magikarp over here. My boy Magikarp is chilling. As you guys know, I have the Grookey. I have the Sobble. I have the score bunny plushes, but I added Magikarp to my collection. I was just like, yo, let me poke his head in the face cam. I think it'll be hilarious. And now you just see like half of Magikarp just sitting here. It's hilarious, yo. It is hilarious. I love me some Magikarp. I love me some Magikarp. But he's going to end up leading Urshifu. Which is fine by me, alongside with Amunga. So I'm going to Dynamax, and I might just go into a Flare. Do I go into a Flare? Because if he's going for a Water move... Actually, no, that's a, the Darker Shavu. That is the Darker Shavu. Um, what do we do? We could pivot out with a Bolt Switch. I mean, we already outspeed. And I think I am going to pivot out here. Do some damage on you, and then, you know, just go into here. And do I go for a Flare, or do I go into a Speed Boost? I think we just straight up go into a speed boost here. Actually, dude, that Urshifu is really scaring me. I might just... I'm going to double down into him. Unless he goes for a Rage Powder. He might go for a Rage Powder here. He might go for a Rage Powder. Let's go into here. If he goes in Rage Powder, he goes in Rage Powder. It is what it is. Let's see what his play is. Let's see what his play is. But we're going to Dynamax here. We are going to Dynamax. If he doesn't Rage Powder, we're sitting in a great spot. But again, if he does, we might take a heavy shot. A heavy shot. More importantly, we are going to be able to Volt Switch Pivot. It's going to be really good for us. And we get out a Pokemon that we that can uh, do some big damage. Let's just see his play. Is he going into the Rage Powder? Do not powder up. Do not powder up. What did I just say? What did I just say? I said, do not powder up. This dude powders up. So good little call by him. We're going to end up going for that Volt Switch. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Who do we bring in here? Could bring in Dialga. I mean, dude, this Urshifu just poses a threat on a lot of my Pokemon. So I'm going to go into my own Urshifu. My own lovely Urshifu. My Urshifu is going to come out here. And we're going to give him a speed boost with this Airstream. And of course, this thing has the Koba Berry. See, that's what I was trying to decide. Does it have the Koba Berry? Or does it have the uh, the Fire Berry? So Koba Berry is going to help this thing soak up all day. That's a little tough. And Urshifu is scaring me, man. I'm going to hope we can eat up a shot, but I don't think we can. I don't know. Let's see how this one plays out. Is he going for the Wicked Blow? Don't do it. Don't do me dirty like that. He goes just for the Wicked Blow. I think that's going into my Urshifu. Let's see. It is going into my Urshifu. So great full switch by me. I'm loving where we're sitting now. Loving where we're sitting. If he goes for a Rage Powder, we take him out with an Airstream. And then I can just come into a close combat here. And take you out. Which I really like. I really like that. Are we going for the Flare? No, we're going for the Airstream. Where do we go for like something like a Phantasm or a Warm Wind? You know, no, we're gonna we're gonna give a speed boost. We need speed. Speed is a great factor. So let's do that. Let's do that. Is this isn't going for another rage powder. Like I said, we're totally fine with the rage powder. It's pretty much a waste of a turn. It's pretty much a waste of a turn. As you know, Airstream coming in here. He doesn't have the barrier anymore. We're gonna be able to KO that lovely support mon and come in hot. And come in hot with my Urshfu. Luckily he was going for that wicked blow over into my Urshfu. Works out really well. So now we have speed. Um I'm kinda hoping he brings out the Kyra so I can change weather with my last turn. But we'll see what he does. We'll see what his play is. Close combat comes through. And I think this should be able to KO unless it's Sash. It's not Sash. Beautiful. So big old damage there. Big old damage with that choice ban. Let's just keep sending our close combats. Let's just keep sending our close combats. Our defense is dropping. So we might as well get off as much damage as we possibly can. It's Sab. It's choice ban. It's big damage. It is some big old damage. So we take out two Pokemon. He has to throw out his last two. If it's Kyogre. Well, there's Salamence. Who might get the Dynamax. Who might get the Dynamax here. And it's not, it's not even Kyogre. He didn't bring Kyogre. Okay, I'm with it. Let's close combat down into you. And let's just go into a warm one. Right over onto you. We'll get that attack drop on the scissor. Even though I maybe should have flared. But we'll see how this one plays out. We have speed all day. I mean, unless this thing goes for a bullet punch. But I do not see him KO in any of my Pokemon with bullet punch. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Show me the Salamence. Show me the Salamence and no Max Guard. That could be lovely. That could be lovely. We are steamrolling with this Dragon Bolt. Is Salamence? It is the Mence. It is the lovely Mence. Show me no Max Guard. Show me no Max Guard. No Max Guard. No Max Guard. No Max Guard. Doo -doo. 
Dang it, man. He guards up. That's totally fine here. Wormwind's gonna be able to poke. And we can still drop a Draco Meteor onto that thing. Which I really like. Which I really like. Close Comets can come through here. And I don't think it's gonna be able to do enough damage. Oh my god, yo. Ooh, what am I talking about, yo? Choice Band Urshfu always does enough damage. Always does enough damage. Absolutely dumps on the scissor. Get him on out my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Now we're sitting in a perfect position. Looking for a sweep here. I think we're gonna get it. We outspeed. We're gonna land this Draco Meteor. Our close combat's not gonna do too much, but you know, it is what it is. Let's see what he does. Are we gonna get back to back cancel battles? No, we, he does not cancel, but Draco Meteor doing work, yo. Close combat should be able to come in here and finish this battle off. Nice little sweep in battle number two. Yo, your boy coming back to Sword and Shield like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Just whooping on people. First battle they canceled. Second battle we swept. It's just GG's. Let's hop into a third and grab ourselves that perfect record for today's video. Grabbed ourselves a nice little clean sweep there in battle number two. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for that perfect record for you guys. This guy has a Shadow Rider Cadillac team that also features Thunderous, Whimsicott, Incineroar, Ndidi, and Urshu. So pretty staple Shadow Rider Cadillac team. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and just crush this battle. I think Dragon Pole is, is perfect here again. You know, Dragon Pole just rips up in a lot of different situations. So I really do love him. I really do love him and he's definitely coming in here. Um, who else should we lead? I think Whimsicott could be a great lead here. Considering we can uh we can do a decent amount here. We can do a decent amount. Um, do I lead him? Do I lead? Yeah, let's lead the Wimscott. I think Dragon Ball, but do I lead the Dragon Ball? I really want to lead him. I really do, but you know, I'm gonna lead the Dialga. I'm gonna get Dialga cooking up in here. Let's get Dialga. We definitely want to bring in Dragon Ball. And then finally, I think we're gonna go Urshifu. Urshifu or Regilecki? I think Urshifu's gonna take the cake. Let's go Urshifu here. Choice ban him, yo. He's been a lot of fun to use because you know, choice ban makes him do a lot of damage, so I just been loving using him. Any like choice band Pokemon, I really like using. Him or Scissor are like my two favorite to choice band on. They're just a lot of fun. Choice specs, choice scarves are all three, I think, very fun items to use. So anytime I'm using them, I'm always having a good time. So we're gonna bring in that Urshfu and look to do some big damage with them. Z was just ripping in that last spell. It was just close combat dead. Close combat dead. It was just GG. Especially that we gave him the speed boost with the max airstream. But he's gonna end up leading these two. Which I uh, I'm cool with. I'm cool with these two. I can tell when set up and I kinda get after a lot of these Pokemon. He does have fake out, which who do we think he's gonna fake out though? Who do we think he's gonna fake out? That's the real question. He'll be faking out my whimsy, which we do not have protect on, I don't think. A lot of abilities going around here. Intimidate's gonna drop our attack. We're both special attackers, so we're chilling. Oh, we are focus ash, which is kind of scaring me. It's kind of scaring me that he's gonna uh, do this. I could fake tears. You know what? I could just fake tears you. But who's he gonna fake out? That's the real question. Let's see if we just go into this. I could roar time. Well, this is exactly what we're gonna do. I could tailwind, but let's just see what he's doing. Let's just see what he's doing. He's gotta be faking me out, right? If he if we get off another turn, then I'll definitely go into a tailwind and just try to get speed control for the squad. But I do think the fake out alongside with the astral barrage coming in here and Wimscott's gonna drop down. A little tough. Fake tears. Oh, we no fake out. No fake out. We'd love to see it. Maybe a parting shot. Fake tears gonna poke here. So if he's not doubling down into me, we are thriving here. He's gonna end up tricking me. That's fine. You could trick me all day. You could trick me all day. Now we do not have a focus ash. Oh no, that's gonna be he, he choice scarf me. He choice scarf my Dialga actually, and that's actually wonderful because we fake tiered him. <laughs> he just he just made us faster. He just made us faster, yo. I'm fine with choice scarf in there. He's gonna end up roaring me. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And it's gonna bring out a random Pokemon. Oh, beautiful, yo. Get out my Dragon Bolt. Bring out my Dragon Bolt, dude. We are running the master tier right now. We are running the mask here. I've been having a lot of fun playing uh, BDSP and Sword and Shield and swapping in between them. I love going back and forth between them. I just think it's fun to switch up the formats and just play the game. Because playing one format kind of like makes the game a bit more staler. So like taking a break from it like we did with Sword and Shield and coming back to it definitely makes the game a lot more enjoyable. But I cannot wait for the next series for Sword and Shield just so we can get some new meta, new Pokemon up in here. It's going to be a lot of fun. But he's going to end up bringing in DD and this is, yo. Why has these battles been so easy for me? These battles have just been too easy on this Master Tier. It's not like I'm super high up in the Master Tier. Right now, we're sitting at 2100 when we started. When we started, we were at 2100. But it's not like we're super high up in the ladder. But these battles have just been super, super easy for me. Super, super easy. Um, I could grant, uh, grant speed here. But I think just going into this, uh, this Worm Wing could be really good for us. Get that attack drop. Uh, do I target down Ndidi? I mean, I'd rather target down Incineroar. He's kind of a pain. And I could Flash Cannon as well. Just into you. Yeah, because I really don't want to drop a Roar Time just yet. So we'll see how this guy plays this one. We shall see how this guy plays this one. 
Gonna end up withdrawing the Incineroar. I'm totally cool with that. And who's gonna go into? Who's not gonna take this dragon move? I'm with that all day. I'm with sending a warm one into him. Unless he's going for follow me, it's totally fine. But we're thriving here, yo. He still has a Dynamax, but it yo, come on, yo. Come on. We thriving. We thriving. The fake tears into the trick. He tricked me. Gave me a choice scarf. We're thriving here. And why was I saying I'm gonna use Roar Time? I had the choice scarf, so we have to use Flash Cannon. We have to use Flash Cannon. And yo, my Dialgus is faster now. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. One one's going to fly through here. It's going to be some big damage. This might take him out. No, we'll not take him out. But, yo, that's some big damage. And he hard swapped that turn. He hard swapped that turn. So, yeah, we're thriving. We, we we in the clear here. We are in the clear here. He is defiant. But, yo, we outspeed him. I'm going to take him out next turn. Unless he goes for follow me. Let's see how much damage he's going to do. He could go for follow me. That, that could be a little scary. But he's only plus one. It's not like he's plus two because we did minus one off. There's a nice little flash cannon. And this is just going to go for a gleam. Just gonna go for clean, yo. Bruh. We soaked that up. We soak it up all day. Uh, I could go for Phantasm, but if Follow Me pokes out, then it's not gonna happen. So let's just drop another Worm One. Worm One coming in hot, and gotta go for our, our, our uh, Flash Cannon again. Is he going for Follow Me now? Is he going for Follow Me? I think he is gonna Dynamax. Maybe that Defiant Pokemon? We shall see. Gene shall see, but yo, he does not Dynamax. This goes straight for Follow Me. I'm cool with that all day. But these battles have just been ridiculously easy i don't care that we're proccing defiant again i really don't mind it we have pokemon that can outspeed him this is going to come in here flash cannon is going to be able to take him out and uh thunders is going to go up plus two he's going to go up plus two so as long as my dragon pole survives here we can outspeed we can outspeed which is lovely and i think he might survive here i think he might flash cannon's going to poke here later indeedy later we still have choice ban urshfu for that instant or so i'm not worried about that thing one bit not one bit. Flies. Oh, he's going to fly. This thing is going to fly. So now, come on. We're just, we're just going to target down in Cinnamon. He's going to have to fake out my Dialga. But yeah, I'm glad we got Dialga in this third and final battle. Yeah, I'm glad we got him out here. He's doing work. He's doing a lot of work. And Cinnamon is going to fly out here. I had to guess. Fake out's going to poke. And I'm just going to target that thing down. I'm just going to target that thing down with a, with a Phantasm. Actually, that was still, that was still proc defiant. So do we just go for an Airstream? Yeah, let's go for an airstream. I'm not trying to proc, proc uh, defy it as, or not anymore. I'm not trying to proc it as much as we already did. Not trying to give him a plus four. Because if we go for anything without Wormwind, it's just going to plus two to defy it. Because usually it's plus two, but we were minusing one. So now he's only up plus two. So it's like we proc the weakness policy for him. But my Pokemon outspeed him. It's, it's over with. It's over with. It's GG's. It is G to the G's. And, and we still have Whimsicott in the back. Which we can just tailwind. Like, why have these battles been so easy? Like, our opponents just are not playing good. But, like, we take the wins all day. We take the wins all day. Is it is it our opponents not playing good? Or is my Dragapult just running everything? Is my Dragapult just being that good right now? <laughs> He's going to end up dying Max and Incineroar. Which, Incineroar probably going for that Dark move, if I had to guess. Or he could be going for the Fire move. He has two viable options with his moves up against my Pokemon. We're going to go for the Airstream. We're going to grab a little bit more speed. And chip up a little bit of damage. It was just our best move. It was just our best move to use. And then we're just gonna go into a flash cannon, which is going to do absolutely nothing this thing. And flash is gonna poke through here and do and do a do a huge chunk of damage. If it goes off after my dragon pole. But if it goes after my uh Dialga, then we're gonna be able to soak that up. Fly comes out here, and like I said, huge chunk of damage, which we survive on. This thing goes for a darkness, and I think he doubles down into my dragon pole. Yeah, dragon pole goes down here. I like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. I do indeed like where we're sitting. We're going to bring out our choice band Urshifu, which I believe outspeeds both of you guys. Or should we set up a Tailwind first? I might set up the Tailwind first. Which could definitely be your play. Did we set up this lovely Tailwind? Yeah, I'm going to set up the Tailwind. Just to make sure my Pokemon outspeed, you know? Just to make sure these Pokemon get some damage off. Let's set up the Tailwind. We're going to Prankster up. Just play this one safe so we can uh, secure the victory here. But now that we're Choice Scarf, we don't like it because we have a bunch of not very effective moves. <laughs> we don't like it one bit. We don't like it one bit. He could be going for a fly again. Which could be smart, but, you know, we taking speed here. We taking speed all day. And that actually could be tough if he's going for a fly. That can come back to bite me. That can come back to bite me. It could. It could indeed. But I, I do think we're sitting here fine. I do think we're sitting here fine. I think Surgeon Strikes can take out Incineroar no problem. We still have our Focus Sash. Our Tailwind's going to poke. We got speed now. Diago's going to go and probably not take this thing out, but maybe bring it to red, right? Yeah, bring it right down the red. 
bring it right down the red he's gonna go for a superpower that oh goes after you oh no he goes after dialga see i was i was curious sir i was curious i was like why is he going after dialga or why is he going after Wimscott? The way that the animation looked, it looked like he was facing towards uh, Wimscott. I was just like, why is he going that way? That works better for us. But he's going to go for the flare. We still have our lovely little Focus Ash. We still have our Focus Ash, so that's huge. So Wimscott survives, and we bring out we bring out a good group. That's pretty much GG's, right? That's pretty much GG's. Actually, I don't know. He has the heat out now. He has the heat out now, but close combat is still super effective. So we're going into close combat now. We're going into close combat. Let's do it. Let's get ripping on that. So, you know, Moonblast coming in hot takes you out. And the close close combat should be able to do enough damage, right? Close combat's been clutch, man. It's been clutch. It does a ridiculous amount of damage with the choice band. It's super effective. It's stab. This should be able to just absolutely dump on it instead of more. Let's do it, yo. Let's do it, Urshifu. This guy's sitting in a tough spot. We were going to go for the Surgeon Strikes, but he just forced us going into that uh, close combat, which actually probably is a stronger move. I don't know. I don't know the damage calculations. Would Surge and Strikes be better in Close Combat? Close Combat's 120 with the stab boost. Brings it to 180 plus choice ban. It's just, it's just, it's just tough. It's just, it's just a heavy hitting move. Moonblast out speeds. We say bye-bye to Thunderous. Get him out of here. You gone, baby. You gone. And Close Combat's going to poke. And is that GG's? Is that the perfect record? Of course it is, yo. Urshifu always hitting hard. Always doing enough damage. Love this Pokemon so much. This is why we bring him in every single chance we get. But hey, 3 no perfect record for you guys. You got to love it. We just been battling so well on the rank ladder in this game and in BDSP. If you guys been checking out the content, we just been winning back to back to back and just keep going on a big old win streak. But yo, I absolutely love this team. Special attack and Dragon Pole is phenomenal, especially with that Life Orb. He outspeeds most Pokemon. He can hit like a truck, take out a lot of people, and pair him up with that Whimscott. You can automatically get speed control with Tailwinds, and you can also fake tier and make sure you get the KO. Urshifu worked wonders with this team. Like I said, yo, Choice Band Urshifu can kill anything in one shot. He's just too good. Regilek, he's a beast in all situations. Dialga and indeed he's great for back-end support. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.